Hi guys, Jordan Sawchuk here from the Super Data Science team, bringing you this series on working with Plotly. Plotly is definitely a must-know tool for building visualizations since it's incredibly powerful, easy to use, and has such a big benefit of interactivity, being able to export the visualizations to the Plotly cloud, being able to run them in the browser, interact with JavaScript, build with Dash, which is a web-based Python interface, which removes the need for JavaScript in these type of analytical web applications, and you can even run these plots offline and in Jupyter as well. And that's what we're going to be working with. We're going to get set up. But long story short, Plotly is a great tool to have if you are working on building any type of analytical presentation or trying to interpret results. In this video, we're going to focus on getting everything set up. So if you have Plotly already installed, feel free to stay with us to reinforce some of the information. We're going to go into some of the basics of Plotly, getting it installed on the system using Anaconda and the Jupyter Notebook set up. We're going to explore the Plotly ecosystem and documentation a little bit, get everything going. And then in the next video, we're going to start building with Plotly. We're going to build two quick little example graphs here. I have them in this Jupyter Notebook, so we'll get to them in a second. And we will wrap it up and proceed to the next video and get more hands on. All right, first things first, if you do not have Anaconda downloaded on your system, the first thing we want to do is download the Anaconda Navigator, the Anaconda environment. So you will find it for your system, either Mac, Linux, or Windows, set it up. We're gonna be using Python 3.6 in this tutorial. So you can download it here. If you wanna use a different version, you can specify that as well. We can also create a contained environment, which we'll set that up in a second. But download Anaconda, get it set up, and then launch the Anaconda Navigator. I'll give you a moment. Once we have Anaconda downloaded, you can open a terminal. I have Jupyter Notebooks running. I did run the install before. So first things first, we want to launch the Anaconda Navigator. You would run Anaconda Navigator. If you're on Linux or Mac, you can run Anaconda Navigator within the terminal. If you are on Windows, you can launch the Anaconda prompt and run the Anaconda Navigator command or launch it from the icon. Once you have it, it's gonna open up if we open the Anaconda Navigator, scroll to environments. I have a newly created environment for this series, the Plotly environment. You can create your own. So you click on create. You're gonna select the Python version that you want. We're using 3.6. Give it the name that you want. I call mine Plotly underscore environment. Then you will click on create. I'm gonna cancel that because I already have it set up. Once it's installed, you will see it finish installing. You can navigate again to the terminal. You're going to you remove this for Mac and Linux. You're going to run the command source activate and then the name of your environment. So it would be plotly underscore environment. If you were on Windows, you would only run activate. You do not need the source command on Windows. You will just run activate and the name of your environment. You can run that and you will see that I have the environment now activated. So everything we install is going to be within this specific environment. You can work from the root environment. That's fine. But if you want to have a contained environment, you can test other versions or say you want to try out a new Python version, you can set it up here. So we have our environment set up. We also need to install Plotly since we're going to be working with it. You can use Conda since we're here in Anaconda. You can use the Conda install commands or you can use pip. It's up to you. I'm going to use Conda since we're working with Anaconda to keep it simple. You can navigate over to the Conda documentation. If we see Plotly here, you can grab this for the kind of install command for Plotly. If you're looking to use pip, you can also use pip install Plotly as well. You will install this here. So we would take that command, let me grab it real quick. I already have it installed and you would install it within your environment. Once it's installed, if you're looking to run Jupyter Notebooks, you can then run the command Jupyter Notebook to launch a Jupyter Notebook to get set up. If you want to launch it from the Anaconda Navigator, you can also go back to your home page, select the applications on your environment and launch it from there. Since we are just getting started with Plotly, it is necessary to go over some of the following information. So we're going to jump into the documentation with Plotly. We have it installed, but if you want to take advantage of the online plotting, you can follow the directions here in the getting started page. You will need to set up an account. The good thing is that Plotly does allow you to have a free account because you are going to be given a username that you will need and an API key. Keep those 
safe because they are for your Plotly account. So you can send your visualizations to the Plotly cloud and have them stored in your account. Another good benefit is with the plot privacy. You do get with the free account permission to keep one of the plots private. Plots are set to the default public viewing. So you can change this in the settings for further information. Visit this page, the getting started on Plotly for plot privacy. And you could scroll through for some other information. But the takeaway from this is if you want to take advantage with the ability to send these plots online with your account to store them in your account, you will need your username and you'll need your API key. We could run some tests further in the series. Right now we're gonna be working in Jupyter Notebooks. We can run tests further in the series to see how that works as well. All right, jumping back into our Jupyter Notebook. This is how we're gonna be getting set up. We need to run our import statements. We're gonna be working offline here. We're gonna be working in Jupyter Notebooks as well. So we need to import Plotly. I have this just to test the version number that I'm using. So you can have that as well and to in some of the tools from Plotly. We have the init notebook mode, plot, iplot, and the pyplot.js. This would be the main point here. The Jupyter setup, we need to set it as true if we want to have the displays in Jupyter notebooks. This piece of code here, the init notebook mode, connected to true. This is so that we can actually visualize them within the notebook. Otherwise, Plotly will open a file of a URL offline, you know, local files that we can visualize as well, or you can send it online to your account to visualize there. But we want to work in Jupyter to keep it simple, just have this added here. Another useful bit of information, if you want to save and you are working the Plotly Cloud or Plotly Enterprise, you have the following pieces of code to assist you. Now to call the plot in this Jupyter notebook, we can use the command for iplot, we can set our x and y and this is very basic. We just want to test this out. So if we want to have, let's say, five points on the x-axis, have one, two, three, four, five. Let's have y values as one, two, six, four, one. And let's run it to test it. We can run our graph. And there you have it. You have a very simple graph, but you also have the tools here. If you want to zoom in on these points, you can, let's take a look at this one say again this is basic so we're only going to be able to pull up a certain amount of information here let's you can zoom into four you can have the ability to export it as well if you want to get out double click but it shows the ease of use the cleanliness and the attractiveness to using plotly since you're able to visualize and we're going to get into another example right now that'll really hone in on this and really show you how useful plotly is and it's the following example we are using NumPy. So if you don't have NumPy installed, please install NumPy. Again, use Conda or pip. So let's go to Conda and let's install NumPy with Conda. If you need it, you can always go Conda NumPy install. Open up the NumPy option for the Anaconda Cloud. Again, this works for pip as well. And you have the following command to install NumPy. Remember to have your environment activated if you're working from an environment. But let's jump back into our notebook. We have our Plotly graph object, calling it as Go and NumPy. This is an example from Plotly, from the Plotly website, just so that we can show you this heat map and the ability to visualize data points within the heat map. So let's run this. Let's scroll down. And there you have it. We have this following index with a heat map, but one of the visualization tools, one of the really usefulness of this is, is we can actually hone in on specific data points within this visualization. Again, this is just some of the power that Plotly has. It's just a, such a unique tool, and it goes to show that it's relatively easy to build these plots, and it has the benefit of the interactivity. You can have these online, you can have these in the browser, just a lot of tools from one library. In the next video, we're going to get hands on. We're going to actually start building some Plotly visualizations and working with it starting from the ground up. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Before we leave off, I wanted to show you one more example just of the interactivity or the power of this interactivity with Plotly. You can actually zoom in on these plots. Now, this is, again, another fairly straightforward example on the Plotly documentation. If you want to view it or experiment it with it further, visit the Plotly link here, the offline mode. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to share them below this video. Any comments, any ideas with Plotly, please feel free to share them. 
subscribe to the Super Data Science channel. It's just a great way to stay informed on what's going on in the industry. There's always some very useful information being examined and discussed. And with that, I will see you in the next video where we'll get started building with Plotly.